Alright, it's episode 3 of Tech Island. And after doing a little bit of research, because I wasn't sure about a few Railcraft things, I'm realizing that I was really stupid for ignoring such an awesome mod. I will go into why eventually, but first let's reach that point so I can just show and tell. And I got no wheat from that? Ouch, that sucks. Okay, first let's cut down some trees. First let's get down, get our get out our axe before so we can cut down some trees okay now it's fortunately there's a lot of clay and sand around here because first thing and most the most important thing in railcraft that you need to make is called a coke oven no no this is one of the things that makes Railcraft really interesting is that a lot, um, a lot of the key things, so coke oven, rock crusher, blast furnace, are actual structures you build in the world. Um, do not leave a single one unfinished because the blocks will constantly scan and try to update in order to see if they're a finished product or not, which will put a massive cause a massive amount of lag. Anyways, a coke oven takes 26 coke oven bricks, which requires four clay and four, five sand, or four clay bricks, not the brick blocks, just the bricks, and five sand, which means I need like 104 clay and, I don't know, a lot of sand. So let's get, so let's go get some. There's a squid. Should grab an ink sack just because. Okay. Clay. I'm also going to need a fair amount of clay for red power. Because you need brick blocks to make a basic alloy furnace. And you need clay blocks to make the blue electric furnaces. And I'm going to drown. No drowning. Okay. Oh wow, that mine that mine shaft goes far. Sorry, ex excuse the cheating of looking through where a chunk hasn't loaded. Let's see more clay. Um, coke ovens are important to railcraft because one of the key things in order to make any form of rail is what it's chrysote, chrysote. It's an oil that's a byproduct of using a coke oven to either make coal coke, which is the special railcraft fuel, or charcoal from wood, which it will do automatically, which is really handy. It's also unfortunately very slow. So it's really better to have multiple coke ovens going. Which means I should probably flatten out and expand this island. Huh. Unfortunately it seems I will end up having to go into equivalent exchange because some of the stuff later, like for instance the blast furnace uses magma cream and blaze rods I think basically just because equivalent exchange makes things makes things a lot easier I will not do it as a major part of something just because it makes things it makes it boring but well, I think it will be very very handy for this
Uh, let's see. I know I was collecting clay, but coke ovens take up a lot of space. So I want to I want to make more room on my island before I start building it. And I'm going to need another shovel. Okay. Where are my saplings? It's kind of disappointing I didn't get an apple from any of those trees. Okay, I have pumpkins planted. I have wheat and flax growing. I have this cave that's still not even close to be being a livable place. Okay. Not sure if I want to turn that into charcoal yet. I should really put that lapis in there. And yeah, because I already used up all my sapphires, may as well use up the rubies as well. There we go. Okay. Don't know why I left that there. And slide in this. I don't want to, like, cover this island and stuff just because I want it to stay looking nice and with that huge air flat area underground, underwater over there, I think it might be nice to build, to once again build my underwater colony. I get distracted once again by digging up clay instead of fixing my island. Ugh. Ah, no. Gonna drown. I at least fill the silence with singing or something, but I don't think anyone wants to hear me sing. So, yeah, you know, leave some advice of what to talk about. I'm always open for constructive criticism. More sand, because I think I have more than enough clay. Uh, I'll grab one or two patches more just because I want at least two coke ovens going because they are they are really coke ovens are very very slow uh. If it, but eventually I'll stop wasting time, I'll go through, go to equivalent exchange, go into the nether, just because that happens really quickly, and hopefully find another fortress soon. I mean, normally I end up having portals spawning on nether fortresses basically all the time, it's kind of weird, but, you know... Since I'm recording, odds are I'm going to be unlucky and not ever find one in this world. 
more clay, more clay, more clay, and I just started drowning. That should, that's a fair amount of clay, now I just need sand. And I don't, and no rubber, so no macerator, so no sand from cobblestone. Which I suppose is a good thing because that leads to the first infinite EMC loop. More sand. Gonna need a lot more sand. I, I think I could actually. No. I was gonna say, I think I'm gonna actually need so much sand that if I spawned a quarry and had that start digging or even just made it. Hundred creepers for a destruction catalyst. I still wouldn't ever get enough. Although hunting creepers for a destruction catalyst does sound like a good idea, anyways. That makes early mining so much easier. Which means I probably won't do it because that's kind of cheap. And it's becoming nighttime. And I'm underwater. Things might get dark, so I'm sorry. Ah, air. Okay. Come on. This is a really, really big clay deposit. I've seen a lot of questions asking about the gem tools and how they compare to other items. I believe it's they have the same durability as iron tools, but harvest at the speed of diamond. So they're really nice replacement items, especially when with a mod like industry. What is that? Is that sand too? Uh huh. Just all biting. But especially with the mod like Industrial Craft, where you, you use so much iron, um, the gem tools are really nice to have. Unfortunately, you need iron to harvest them anyways, so... Yeah. But once, but once you actually have gem tools, you can actually take your... Ah, no drowning. You can take an iron pick, and repair it with equivalent exchange or not, it doesn't really matter. And then stick any iron item, or any item made for metal, in an alloy furnace. And you can actually cook it back down into the metal used to make it. Um, that's interesting. Probably a mine shaft, part of the mine shaft there. Oh, how much sand do I have? Not nearly enough. Great. Oh. Come on, more sand. More sand. No. Part of the reason I want Railcraft up so quickly, or as quickly as I can get it, aside from the coke ovens taking a long time, is there is a structure you make with steel, which requires blast furnace, which requires um, nether brick and magma cream and soul sand. Anyways, with that, with the steel, um, diamonds, pistons, or steel blocks, diamonds, and pistons, you can make a structure called the rock crusher, which, aside from being used for some of 
railcraft's more important things. If it can be used like a macerator to crush ores. I don't know if it works with mod ores, but it's the only way to find out. Well, I suppose that's not technically true because I could just look it up because I'm sure other people have had the questions, so maybe there's two ways or three. Hmm. And I can't run because I'm going to starve. Oh, how much wheat? How's my wheat? Terrible. I know I had a bone somewhere. But I want to save the bone for when I have a uh, melon. Because I know there are melon seeds in a chest down in that mine shaft. That's part of why I like the seed so much. I just have to find it. Hmm. Okay, more sand. More sand. Oh, I'm going to be digging up so much sand because, you know, need a lot of sand for railcraft, need sand for glass, which is using so much. Need it for sandstone because I like how it looks. Oh, I don't think I've seen sandstone in this mod, or with this texture pack. Oh, well, not bad. Yeah. Whatever. But the point is, I'm going to need a lot of sand. I think I'll just cover that up with dirt afterwards. Okay. More sand, and I'm going to drown again. Ow. Oh. On the plus side, I think my health is low enough that I won't take starvation damage. Maybe. I'd don't know how hard this world is set. Actually. Okay, it's still it's on easy, so I won't starve to death. No. I will however die from drowning if this keeps up. Hey, there's something I was far enough out that something spawned over there. Please don't be a skeleton, and it's a skeleton. Man. Okay. Plenty of sand. Unfortunately, got one of those super massive trees. That's a pain. Okay. Cut down this. And it's just about dawn. So I'll go cover up this hole. It's a very large hole. Didn't realize it dug out that much. Hmm. There, good as new. Oh, there, good as new. Okay. 
Until next time, bye.